Have you ever felt like no matter what you do, you're not improving, you feel stuck, and dare I say it, plateaued? I want you to know that every dancer, whether you're a professional or a beginner dancer, everybody goes through plateaus in their dance journeys. So true. And if you feel like you're not getting better, well, it's a good thing you're watching this video because we're gonna give you five things right now to help you get unstuck. And hey, if you're already subscribed to us, then welcome back, we miss you. But if you're new to our channel, it's your girl, Jessie. And Clay. And this is what Steezy does. We make you a better dancer. So if you wanna see more helpful and fun dance content, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Reason you're not getting better at dancing number one. Your positioning is off. Okay, I know you've been in this situation. You're getting the choreography, you're on beat, you're even putting energy and facials into your performance. So why don't you look like the choreographer? It's likely because your body positioning is off. Now that's not to say that you're doing the move wrong. In fact, it's probably because you're doing it right that it makes it super hard to see. You're just gonna have to make a few subtle, specific adjustments. Say for instance, you're doing this step slide motion. I'm using my shoulder, I'm performing, and the move looks good, if I say so myself. But let's tweak your positioning a little bit. What if you angled your body and showed your back to the audience? Oh, whoa, okay, that looked a lot better. Okay, give me another one. Okay, let's try this grab pull move, but now add a head look on the grab and a head tilt on the pull. These small positional adjustments are gonna make a world of difference. So if you notice that your moves don't look as powerful or unique, then don't just stick with the base movements. Add some flair and change up the body position. Reason number two, you quit before building. There's nothing more disappointing than seeing a dancer that has so much potential just give up before they've truly realized their abilities. But this tends to happen to dancers who move on to the next move or the next technique or the next style before building on what they already have. Can you imagine if the first time that Gordon Ramsay tried cooking, he tasted it and was like, this tastes like booty. I'm just gonna be a quilter instead. The first move that I ever learned was the arm wave. I asked a friend in high school, his name was Ben Lee, if he could teach me. And uh, this was me a few months into practicing. I kept at it. Just like in our first tip, I changed up the positioning. I tested variations. And sooner or later, with more and more practice, it actually became my specialty. Look at that. Look at it. it looks like a noodle. And I love noodles. So stick with it. There's always gonna be something new and exciting to do, but you have to give it a little more time and you'll be rewarded for it. But if you get discouraged easily and find it difficult to commit to putting in days to months to improve a skill, then you should be following the one degree different rule. We'll describe what that is in the next section, which is... Number three, you put too much on your plate. I know, it's super easy to get discouraged when you try something new and it just isn't working on your body. This is why I like to train with just one degree of difference from my original routine. Look, my hair might suggest that I'm a very adventurous person, but I actually really like routine and consistency. I like knowing exactly what to expect without having to think so much. It's like how Steve Jobs wore the same outfit every day. So jumping too far out of my comfort zone makes me feel anxious, which is why I just inch my way into things. For example, becoming a beautiful ballerina might seem like a really lofty goal, but that's why we created the Intro to Ballet program so that you can learn just one new thing each day. Each day, you start with a review of what you learned the previous day, then learn one new ballet technique. By the end of the 25-day program, you will have learned all the foundational techniques of beginner ballet. Just one degree different each day. This is the fourth reason you're not getting better at dancing. You don't solicit information from experts and peers. You need one, to learn from people who know more than you do, and two, to get the support from the people who are around the same level as you. Okay, let's address the first point. Where do you find your experts? <laughs> Where? Where? Wha where? Ask a teacher at your dance studio for advice, reach out to people who could act as a dance mentor, read the hundreds of thoroughly researched articles on the Steezy blog, and watch our educational YouTube videos. Like this playlist right here? This one? This is rich with tips and advice, especially if you're a beginner or intermediate level dancer and you don't have a lot of local, reliable resources. Okay, now where do I find peers or a community? Well, if you're lucky enough to live in an area with an active dance community, go ahead and engage with them and ask them about their experiences. Our private Steezy Studio Members Facebook group has over 7,000 members from over 100 different countries. In this group, you can post your own dance videos, get critiques, ask questions, and receive answers from other active Steezy members and instructors, 
And my favorite thing is that the community does this hashtag weekly class challenge where everyone takes the same class, shares their videos, and the Steezy staff picks a Steezy select group. You gotta be willing to receive input from experts and share with your peers because you can only go so far by yourself. And the last reason you're not improving as a dancer... You don't play a character. Where's Clay? There's only this character here. I'm just so much in character. Oh! You know when you watch your favorite dancer and they just look so confident, like they were made to dance that way? Well, actually most of the time that's not actually the case. Huh? A dancer is like an actor. We have to embody the music, character, and story, even if it's not natural to us. This is why you see so many dancers act one way in person, then completely different when they're dancing. This is a performance art, so it's okay to pretend like you're the cockiest, coolest person on stage. Not that I really have to perform. <laughs> He's <laughs> breathing so hard. <laughs> as long as you still remain your most authentic self outside of the dance floor. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce. Hey y'all, we just want to take this time to thank all of you for watching our videos. When we first started this channel, we never expected it to be as big as it is with such a kind, loving, and supportive audience. So thank you guys so much for all of the love. The more you support us through likes, comments, and shares, and of course, signing up for CZ Studio memberships, the more potential dancers that we're able to reach, which all helps us get closer to our goal of making the world a dancier place. Thanks y'all, we'll see you in the next one. The first time Gordon Ramsay tried cooking, he tasted it and he was like, mm, it's not that good. It's f***ing raw! <laughs> <laughs> Reason number two? Were you like looking at your nails? Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's the bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Uh.